Ben Sass, Republican who voted to convict Trump to depart Congress. Another Republican who stood up to Donald Trump is on his way out of Congress, with the news that the Nebraska Senator Ben Sass is set to become president of the University of Florida. Of the 10 House Republicans and seven senators who voted to convict Trump at his second impeachment trial for inciting the January 6 Capitol attack, only two congressmen and four senators are on course to return after the midterm elections. High-profile casualties include Liz Cheney of Wyoming, the House January 6 committee vice chair who lost her primary to a Trump-backed challenger in August. Mike Cheney, Sass, 50, has been thought a possible contender for the Republican presidential nomination, a notional 2024 contest still dominated by Trump. The senator does not have to face voters again until 2026. But on Thursday, Rahul Patel, a member of the University of Florida Board of Trustees, told the Tampa Bay Times the college needed a visionary, an innovator, and big thinker who would differentiate us from others a leader who is transformational. The committee unanimously felt Ben Sass is a transformational leader. Sass decried Washington partisanship and called Florida the most interesting university in America right now. A university president before he entered politics at Midland in Nebraska, Sass will in November be the sole candidate interviewed for the Florida position. If he resigns as a senator, the Nebraska governor, the Republican Pete Ricketts, or a likely Republican successor if Sass resigns in January, will appoint a replacement. NBC News reported that Sass's move was the result of Republican rivalries. Quoting a top Republican insider, the outlet said the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, was behind the move, which was meant as one in the eye for Trump. Mark Caputo, a reporter, wrote, in May, Trump said he regretted supporting Ben Sass. Now, DeSantis' men at UF has engineered Sassy's hiring. Everyone knows what this is about. Ron and Don, top Republican insider, tells me, echoing others, 